guys we are back at it getting the car ready for another race meet um, we're actually a week early this time so i guess we found a couple of well we found a couple of things on the car that had been looked over i guess um maybe maybe <laughs> found a few bent a few bent components um which i think might even date back to Bundaberg when mm. we when we had that big crash in the wall. Yeah. Smacked the wall, but yeah. So all the love was given to the rear end of the car, and yep. maybe a couple of things were missed at the front. So yeah. we're we're back, and we're very lucky to have borrowed a set of scales. Stairs. Yeah, from Darren and Sarah Lester. Thank you very much. So thanks, guys. They're actually new neighbours now, so they're just over yeah. the hill from us. So uh, yeah, yeah we're awesome. borrowing, a, borrowing a set of scales off those guys to just check a few things over. So yeah, just make sure everything's in the right spot. Um, we sort of, as much as we measured 50 times and cut once, we're, we're second guessing ourselves after <laughs> <laughs> after the performance we did last weekend at Toowoomba. Or the other yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go over the car and make sure it's. Um, yeah, it's all, all good. All Make sure we've got a, a good zero baseline again. I think that's the that's the yeah. big that we've made a few big changes. You know, the diff's heavier. We put a bigger fuel tank in it. Um, so we just we basically when it, yeah, whenever you change something like that, you almost have to start off again from a, from a zero baseline. So that's what we're doing. Just getting our weights um, getting our weights right, and hopefully, hopefully it'll. Just be better <laughs> at Archfield next weekend. But. We'll give you guys a little bit of a show of what we're doing, and then um, yeah, head to head to Archfield next weekend. But we'll wrap it all up in one video. So enjoy. Secret sauce. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I'm not showing numbers. Oh. I'm not showing this. All this. I'll show this. Okay. Well, you can't really see it. Yeah, true. Yeah. So what am I? When I get in the car, you just write down. Left front, right front, left rear, right rear. Uh huh. And then we'll calculate the difference and then we'll make a few changes and we'll do it all again. And we'll make more changes and do it again. Can't wait. More changes, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Alright. Time now. Two eighty-seven. <laughs> out. Go and wind. Half a turn out on the right front. Let's see what that. Half a turn out. Yeah. Thank you, Lucy. Check the numbers. Can't show these. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So it is Sunday morning. We've just spent all of yesterday um, playing around with the car, scaling it up, um, you know, checking out different scenarios. And this morning, we've had Dan from Solar Cooling Solutions just show up. So he is um, here to install some uh, solar powered whirly birds on our shed roof. So super exciting. It's just in time for summer and going to keep everything cool while he's working on the car and the shed. Um, so yeah, let's head inside and see how it's going. Well, you can't, there's no heat at all. See how you get that pull as soon as you go in. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's each different. <laughs> yeah, Happy? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> That'll keep me going through summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got Dan here from Solar Cooling Solutions. <laughs> They've, they've come on board with the race team this year, so he's, uh, he's just fitted a couple of his 
Solar roof and ventilation fans. Solar roof ventilation fans. Okay. And how do they how do they work? What's so what's so, so good about these guys? Anybody that's mechanically minded, these are like a thermo fan for the roof. Um, they're calibrated to grunt all day, so they'll come up like six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning as soon as the sun hits the panel. Yeah, right. They'll keep the air circulating through the shed all day. So basically, okay. Nathan won't walk in here at lunchtime or in the <laughs> afternoon after he's got home from work, and it won't be forty five degrees. Yeah, yeah. It should sit around sort of 27, 26 degrees. Yeah. And you'll be able to walk in and it'd be like the door's been open all day. Awesome. So. How good. That's what you need because you are in here all day. Yeah. Well, yes, we were in here yesterday. Just going on the car, and it was, I mean, it was hot. Like, yeah, it was overcast, hot, but so windy we had to keep the doors yeah, down. It was too windy that we had to keep the doors down. So, yeah. 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 So these will actually run in overcast conditions as well. Oh, cool. Because they run off UV. Yeah. So even on a rainy day, you'll actually be able to walk out here and like, I thought it still be They'll high. still run. Yeah. That's so awesome. They'll probably only run at about 40%. Like during the rain, but yeah. you'll still have airflow and open constant circulation. Yeah, that's awesome. It's good. Yeah, Saved your butt for summer. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. much. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Welcome to the team. I just wanted to quickly come out and show you guys. <laughs> we don't have a um, ride on lawnmower yet, so Nathan. <laughs> So this is the end result of our turf getting laid. Everybody has to go ahead. Got a fire pit up the top there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. But I just, he was just gonna mow up here. And I knew that as soon as he started, he wouldn't be able to stop and he'd have to do the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it is Saturday the 10th and we are about to head to Archfield Speedway. I think there's a really good field tonight. I'm not sure the exact numbers. I'll let you know, but it should be a good night. Come on, Jim. Out the way. What's she doing? It is super busy today. So we've just had to do a bit of a yui and go park over here. There must be a fair chunk of cars here today. Super cute. I love the Potts' family report. <laughs> I'm not going to read it because obviously it's personal, but thank you, Potts family, and Merry Christmas. Alrighty, week one. They're all gridded up, ready to go, and it is quite literally a car park. It is so busy tonight. I think everyone's pretty excited to be back at Archerfield after the technically first round got rained out so we're here and we are starting out of p10 for this heat
on deck here. We got Joshi, Mr. and Mrs. Yukara, of course. And Matt from Charles by Matt is also here tonight, which is really cool. Um, so it's a pretty quick turnaround between heat one and two tonight. Um, Nathan ended up coming seventh um, in his first heat, so moved up three positions. Uh, so yeah, let's see where he's starting out of for heat two and get ready. Alrighty, so Nathan's starting out of uh, P2 for his second heat. Um, so off the front row next to Bruce Marshall. Should be good.
field tonight. So we are heading up to watch the B main. Uh, so I think, is it eight cars in the B main? Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're not in the B main, mate. I'm not in the B main. <laughs> You got the where you, where you finished, where you start? Seven. I think I'm, I'm way back. I ran into a meteor shower at the start of that first race. <laughs> meteor shower? Well, you didn't know where to go. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, like Hunt Solo, mate, got to dodge the rocks. <laughs> uh, let's go out and watch this boo. Oh, Check it out. So. Eight cars in the B main, I think the top three transfer, sort of make it about 18 cars maybe. Yeah, um, and you are starting out of P7? Yes. P7. Blanche's put his car on the trailer, so hmm. could be starting out of sixth. It's odd. Yeah. Because he won that. Well, hey. Yeah, I'll have to have to ask him. All right. Well, we'll watch this be main and then yeah, get ready for the feature. So they've ripped the track, ripped it, boarded it. We got the B main out. So it looks like Nathan's starting out of P6 uh, on the outside. Right next to the A1. <laughs> Should be a good race.
off. Well, what are you doing? We're done. Doing video. Yeah. Ended up full. Yeah, full. Good. Gotta be happy with that. Yep. Managed to try. It's all about trial and error. So we've tried, yeah. tried a few different things, and yeah, it seemed to work on the slick track. So yeah. Are you happy you did the whole scale thing last weekend? Yeah, I think it's. We just got to purchase a set for ourselves now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, right. Yeah. So if anyone wants to buy a set of scales for us, holler at us. <laughs> one day, one day. One day. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Yeah, no, it was good. So it's all a, it's all a um, constant learning um, constant learning curve, so mm. yeah. Mm. No. We're happy. Done good. One, good one, night. One, sh one shy of the podium, but yeah. I think... Yeah, yeah that yeah. always stings a bit, but... It was a massive field, yeah. no damage. Everyone raced really, really well, considering how packed it was. Mm. Um, few, few of the few of the front runners had some bad luck, but yeah, um, yeah. You win some, you lose some, as they say. That's yeah. it. Now we yeah. got to try and get out of here. It's a bit tight, but thanks for That's tuning in, guys. Yes. Um, make sure to like comment and subscribe to our channel give us a bit of support that way and yeah let us know what you think about all the in-car footage we're you know trying that out let us know if there's anything else you want to see and we will catch you on around about the 28th so merry 20th, christmas yeah. and we'll see you next time thanks guys Cheers.